than you. Separation data normal. Thank you, Claire. Start the train on ambulance. Babies growing in artificial wombs. It's amazing how far science has come. Eight years ago, when I had been working here at Norwest Bio for only a few months, a fertility doctor named Wesley Kozak offered to help me have a baby. It's 2008 now, and science has turned what once seemed miraculous into commonplace. Good morning. Access research files. Access it. Some people are afraid that medical research has raced ahead of morality, that scientists are tinkering with the essence of creation, playing uninvited in God's backyard. All right, young As for me, after the death of our son a year ago, I feel I have no choice but to put my faith in the technology that gave us Chris in the first place. I need to look to science for another miracle. Identify baby 2,000 subjects. Searching database. File baby 2,000. security no matter what it costs within reason okay hello sky hi sorry to keep you waiting i'm not she's a beautiful baby aren't they all come on let's walk to my office Dr. Mason, I need a word with you. Dr. Mason. Good morning. Yes, it did. There seems to be some sort of mutation. Dr. Mason. What's it been, a year since Chris died? Yeah, almost. You see me doing real well. You got a minute, Dr. Mason? Want me to go after him? Nah, I'll handle it. You know what we went through the first time. Without in vitro, Chris's birth wouldn't have been possible. Without you, it wouldn't have been possible. But there's still some things we can't do. <sighs> Such as? I checked and double-checked. None of your remaining eggs are viable. I'm sorry, Sky. I really am. Of course, if you want a second opinion... No. It's not gonna change anything. If anyone could have helped us, it would have been you. I'm sorry. Wait, wait. No. No, now stay away from me. It's not gonna hurt you, I promise. I just wanna talk. Leave me alone.
problem is I'm certain we can work this out. No, the only thing that's certain is that what you are doing is wrong. All right. Morally, ethically, right. and well, legally. Let's not get excited. Let's just they talk about not sign this. on to experiment on human beings. Maybe you don't understand how important your loyalty is to Norwest Bio. Mr. Christ has authorized me to offer you what? anything you money? want. Anything you want. He thinks I'll take money? We have you on video. You broke into our files. That's a felony in this state. Well, then you better call the police. Oh, better yet, I'll do it for you. Hey, hey, let go of me. Let go of me. All right, all right, all right. Let go! Where you been? Oh, step back. Oh, uh, Hager went into the hospital this morning. Appendicitis. Is he gonna be okay? Yeah, he'll be fine. Uh, Tom wants me to go down to Portland for a while. Supervise the construction site. Well, when will you know? Soon, I guess. So how'd it go? Did you see him? Yeah. Um... I can't get pregnant again. I'm, I'm sorry. And I, I know how much you wanted this. What about you? Yeah, I, I wanted it too, I guess. And I, don't, I don't know. I don't know what I want. I just, you know, I, I just, I, I can't think about this anymore. And I can't think about anything else. Good night, Robin. Good night, Doctor. Excuse me. Hey, Wes. Hello, John. Good evening, Wes. My God, did you hear about Dick Mason? Yeah, awful, wasn't it? Real tragedy. What a talented researcher. I know. It's especially shocking, isn't it, when it happens yeah. to someone you know? Well, yes, I was just talking. Listen, I don't mean to sound callous, but we've got to find a way to be up for this meeting on Monday. Why? Are you worried about it? Well, you know bankers. It's all bottom line, and they weren't at all happy with the last audit, so uh, I need you to pump them up. You're my superstar. How can I help? Well, talk about the frontiers of science, the dawn of a major breakthrough. Tell them how you feel. You'll know what to say. I'll do the best I can. Thank you.
aren't you in the boat with him? You've got to help him. I can't. Chris, come back. Come back. Chris, come back. all alone on the boat. It's just a dream. You weren't with him in the boat. In the dream, you weren't with him in the boat. Where was I in the boat? In your dream, Sky, where are I in the boat? I don't know. I'm not in the boat because you blame me for his death. It's not true. It's not gonna be. It's okay. I blame myself. You did everything you possibly could to save him. I have never doubted that, not for one second. But you still have the dream. I feel like we're drifting apart here, Scott. Good morning, Claire. Morning, Sky. Look, I'm sorry about your test results. I know how much you. Oh, it's okay. Me. Terrible news about Dr. Mason, huh? Yeah, I couldn't believe it. I mean, I hardly knew him, but he seemed like a nice enough guy. I didn't know him very well either, but I've heard some things. Like what? Well, you should keep this to yourself, but Katie in Mr. Grice's office told me Dr. Mason was really stressed. And he was under tremendous pressure. Really? In fact, last week, I even caught him rifling through some of Dr. Kozak's papers. You're kidding. Mm -mm. Apparently, his behavior was so erratic that they suggested he see one of the company doctors. Do they think it was suicide? I don't know. We probably both do. <laughs>
do you think? Let's go to Deep Cove. God, this is great. Okay, here's the rules. Okay. We don't talk about anything serious. We eat too much, we drink too much, and we spend an extraordinary amount of time in bed. Or in bunk. Deal? Deal. Why don't you, uh, fire up the grill? I'll be right back. Where are you going? Thought I'd buy us some steak. Well, I'll come with you. That's all right. It'll only be a few minutes. Okay, in 15 minutes, I pop the champagne without you. I know. Yeah, I told you. What do you think? Huh? Wow, these look beautiful. <laughs> What happened? I saw Chris. You what? I, I, I saw Chris. This guy. For God's no, sake. No, I, I, I saw him. He was on a bike. He was on a bike. And I, you I, I tried to catch it? him, and he was going too fast. Scott, don't do this. Okay. Trust me. Please, trust me. Honey, listen to me. You did not see Chris. Okay? A kid who looks like Chris, maybe, but no. not Chris. No, I know, I know, I know what I saw. I know what I saw. Look at this. I, I got this at work. I found it in my message box. Hey, what, what does this mean? Baby 2000? No, I don't know. It's just... Chris was born in, in 2000. Right. So, I thought... You thought what? That, that you would find him here? Alive? No, I didn't say that. Because someone left a note in your box? Honey, you're driving yourself crazy. I knew that's what you'd say. That's why I didn't tell you about the note in the first place. I know what I just saw. I'm gonna find him. I'm gonna find him with or without you. This guy. Honey. He 
He's eight years old. His hair is the same color as mine. He was wearing... Kids are in and out of here all day. He had on shorts. And there was a Band-Aid on his knee. Doesn't ring a bell. His name is Chris. He walked out of here and got on a bicycle, Rick. Look, I told you, I never noticed the kid. What's the deal? Are we gonna have a problem with this? No, we're not gonna have a problem. Look, we're at a boat down at the marina. If you see a kid who looks like that, just let us know, okay? Yeah, sure. Why not? Thanks. You'd better call Beth. I saw him. I saw him. You hear what you said? Yes, I hear what I'm saying. You think I wouldn't know my own son? This guy, I see kids all the time who look like Chris, and I always feel like my heart is going to jump out of my chest. It was not someone who looks like him. It was him. Chris is dead. Well, maybe he isn't. They never found his body when they dragged that lake. Rick, he could have drifted away, and, and, and you didn't see. Maybe he was just I didn't unconscious. See. What the hell is that? Floated ashore, and somebody found him, and Sky, they didn't know please. who he was. Maybe Don't, they didn't want to know. Maybe they. I'm sorry. Mm. I'm beat. Let's go to bed. I'm a little too wound up to go to sleep. I think I'll work, clear my head. You want to talk some more? What else is there to say? Come on. Sky, don't do that, okay? I'm sorry. I'll be up in a minute. You want to start seeing someone again? A counselor, maybe a, a therapist? We could go together this time. No. We'll be fine, really. I'm going to take a shower. Okay. Scan photo. Message. Have you seen this boy? Send email. Now? Yeah. Uh, no, no. It's just it's not a great time, that's all. No, I know. I know. Okay. Bye. Who is that? Oh, it's Tom. He does want me down in Portland. At the Dinner Project. For how long? I don't know. They're on a rush schedule with Hager in the hospital. They're juggling project supervisor. You know what we should do? You should come down with me. Oh, we'll be working all day. I'll never see you. What? What? Nothing. I'm fine. Besides, I'll see you on the weekend. Well, what? I doubt it. They're going to be working around the clock. Oh. Because I was kind of hoping that we could go back out to Deep Cove. Come on, don't start. That I have thing. to get this out of my system. Rick, I just have to. Sky, I want you. I know to... what you want. You want me to say that I didn't see him, and I'm not going to. Look, Deep Cove is a resort. Whoever you saw has probably gone home with his parents. You're wasting your time. Maybe I am. Maybe I am wasting my time. 
but I have to try, all right? Even if it's to prove myself wrong. Fine. I gotta get going. Okay. Look, call me if you do go. I wanna know you're all right, okay? A crucial consideration in selecting Baby 2000 hosts was geographical separation. If the subject should meet, the study would obviously be compromised. Nonetheless, data in Group A has already been skewed by the accidental death of Subject A1, Christopher Weston. With a small... Doctor. Yes? You asked that I remind you you're doing the boardroom? Right. Thank you, Claire. Sure. You do it from the beginning. Biogenetics is an investment. It takes a little faith, some patience. We've been biting the bullet on this over and over again. It's getting to the point now we're throwing good money after that. Science doesn't follow a schedule. And even so, I think we've made some remarkable strides. Since the expansion of the fertility clinics, the company's been swimming in red ink. Hey, Wesley. Well, you all know Dr. Kozak. Good day, gentlemen. I understand you won a Bolton Award. It's the highest honor in the field of genetic research. It's all very flattering. Wesley, why don't you tell him what you've been doing? I'd be happy to. Of course, until all the data is in, I can't give you too many details, but we feel we're on the verge of a breakthrough that will absolutely revolutionize health care. Our projections show a thousand percent increase in earnings in the first two years. Now, if our experiments work out as we expect, Norwest Bio will be a pioneer in an entirely new industry. We've heard rosy projections before, John. We're sorry, but if you can't show something concrete, I mean, real evidence of increased earnings potential in two weeks, we're going to have to put Norwest Bio into involuntary bankruptcy. Ten days, Wes. I want the CIP data on my desk in ten days. That's not possible. Well, that's not the right answer, Wes. Some of my proofs still need secondary confirmation. Oh, come on, these guys are bankers, Wes. They're not scientists. They don't need everything nailed down. They just want to know we've developed a viable product. I understand that, but... Well, you know it's going to work, so what the hell is the difference? I'm not ready, John. Ten days, Wes. On my desk in ten days. Do what you have to do. Stay up all night, drink coffee, but get it to me in 10 days. child again, I'll call the police. You hear me? He's my boy, and nobody's gonna take him away from me. Nobody. I told you I'd call the cops, and I meant it. Wait. Just wait. Look at this photograph. Where'd you get a picture of my son? Did your son wear a uniform like this one? Did he ever play for this team? I took this picture of my son. Who the hell are you? There we go. There. There. Good as new. Okay. Yeah. yeah, you get some sleep, okay? Okay, mommy. Mm -hmm. Night nice, sweet. Night sweet dreams. Thank you. you want some more coffee? Oh, yeah. That would be nice. Thank you. They could be twins, you know? But they're not. I carried Timmy. I gave birth to him. I was awake the whole time. I was so sure that it was Chris. Probably because I wanted it to be so badly. 
kept thinking of ways that it could be him. You know? I'm sorry. To think of losing Timmy, I don't know what I'd do. That's why I was so scared when you first came up to us. Ever since Jack died, his folks have been trying to take Timmy away from me. We move, they hunt us down. They're rich, and when they want something, they get it. And they want Timmy real bad. They think of Timmy as Jack's. If he's Jack's, he's theirs. It's as simple as that. But he's your son. They can't just take him away from you. Look, it's none of my business, but... And you're young yet, you can still have another baby. We're very lucky to get Chris. I could not get pregnant. We tried everything. Hmm. Finally, we got a specialist, a fertility specialist. Maybe you know him. Beth? Look, it's getting kind of late. His name is Kozak. Look, I don't like this, okay? I don't want to talk about it anymore. Did you go to Norwest Bio, Beth? Is that where you got Timmy? Please tell me. Jack's parents sent me. They wanted a grandson. They said they didn't care what it cost. Who was your doctor? Wesley Kozak. I don't know what it means. I don't know if it means anything. Oh, God, I need you. This kid really looks like Chris. Looks like him, sounds like him, moves like him. He even smiles like him, Rick. Okay, um, I'll get the first flight out in the morning. Look, Sky, don't do anything until I get there. We have to figure out the best way to handle this, okay? Okay. Okay, I love you. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Marcus Fredrickson, fertilize three, and uh, get it into the freezer, okay? okay? Thanks, Claire. I need to talk to you. Well, sure, I'll get Sally to send something. Uh, right now, please. I'm afraid I'm too busy. Uh, all my early patients ran late. I met enough. a former patient of yours, Beth Colton. Beth Colton, I, uh... This is my son, Chris. This is Timothy Colton. Claire, would you excuse us a moment, please? Sure. Thank you. How could another patient of yours have a child that looks exactly like my son? Did something go terribly wrong here, doctor? Oh, of course not. Listen, the embryo that was implanted in Beth, could it have been mine and Rick's? No. Or, God forbid, was my son Chris really from Beth Colton? Come on, Sky, you work here. You know we have all kinds of safeguards against that sort of thing. How else do you explain this? Look at them. They are identical oh, twins. Oh, no, I agree with you. The resemblance is uncanny. But twins, it just can't be. Don't worry, we'll get to the bottom of this. I'll run some tests. What kind of tests? Well, DNA, for starters. Any chance you saved a lock of Chris's hair? I'm sure I have some in his baby book. Well, good. Bring me a sample. Along with hair from Beth and the Colton boy, and of course you and Rick. I'll run the analysis right away. And this will somehow tell if Chris and Timothy are related? Beyond a shadow of a doubt. Yeah, 
Yeah, uh, the, the radio said all your flights were going to be delayed, hey, so I'm sorry. It's okay, what did he say? Well, first they've got to run some tests, and we've got to get a sample of Timothy Colton's hair. Chances of Sky Western ever seeing that boy were astronomical. Calm down, Wes. You handled it perfectly. I don't know. Look, why don't you go on back to work? I'm sure you got patients waiting to see you. Can we talk about this later, John? Absolutely. You think Mason put her on to the Colton woman? No point worrying about that now, is there? How do you want me to deal with it? Quickly and quietly. You got it. Oh, and uh, Rinker. Word of this gets out and millions of dollars go down the drain, so try to be a little more subtle than you were with Mason, would you? It's worse, finding out there is a DNA match or finding out there isn't. We don't have to do this, you know. We can just walk away. You saw those photos, Rick. And even if there was a screw-up at the clinic, even if the Colton boy turns out to be ours biologically, it still won't make him our son. I know. I mean, Beth Colton gave birth to him, raised him. I know. I just need to know the truth, Rick. I just need to know the truth. Closets are empty. What are we gonna do? I don't know, without something to test. Maybe there's something here we can use. I'm gonna go into the bedroom. You look out here. from blood, right? I really want you to see for yourselves. It's all pretty straightforward. This is Chris, the yellow. The blue is you, Sky. There. Note the overlap and amino acid sequencing. Rick, you're over here, the green again. See the perfect overlaps? There's no doubt that Chris was your son. Where's Timmy Colton? Right here. Uh, Go ahead, you do it. Like this? Yeah, that's right. Uh, they don't overlap. No. There is no relationship between you and Rick and Timothy Colton. Is there any chance that this could be wrong? We use an independent lab, so there would be absolutely no question. Of course, you could have another lab redo it if you still have doubts. I suppose I should be relieved. Well, at least we know the truth. Thanks, Doctor. We appreciate your understanding. Not at all, Rick. It's been a very disturbing episode for all of us. I'm just glad it's behind us. Oh, honey, I'm sorry. It's okay. Not just about the way it turned out, but about everything. Mm. Wes, everybody is happy but you. The Westons are satisfied with your explanation. Timmy Colton will be able to afford the finest schools money can buy. So, what's your problem? I just don't like it, John. I don't like it one bit. Would you like it more if your funding was cut off? Your research discredited? 
you like to spend a couple years in a federal penitentiary? Would you like that more, really? Wes, what you've accomplished here is going to save millions of lives. Now, what you did to get there is insignificant by comparison. So why don't you worry about the big picture? Let me take care of the details. You want a glass of wine? Yeah, I'll be right there. Deliver mail? Open first message. That little boy you're looking for is my nephew. Name's Andy Faulkner. Here's a picture. Open next. Where did you get a picture of David? Uh, open all. never had a case like this. Cloning. I thought I heard it all. There's absolutely no other explanation here. I know that they've cloned animals, cows and sheep and such, to upgrade their stock, but I haven't heard of anybody cloning a human yet, have you? Assuming this Dr. Cody did clone your son, have you got any ideas why? None. Inheritance, maybe? Trust fund? Business interest someone might want to control by having some sort of duplicate of your son? We didn't come here because we have all the answers. We came here because we don't. We understand, and we'd like to help. But, but you really don't believe us, do you? How do you explain these, then? How? Mrs. Weston, I have 200 pictures of my son. If I laid them out in front of you and told you that these are clones, what would you say? Wait, wait, wait. We've, we've already gotten seven responses to this. And who knows how many more are out there. Do you think we're making this up? Why would we do that? But don't take this wrong. We get people in here for all kinds of reasons. They've had a falling out with their business partner and they want the FBI to investigate them. They think they have grounds for a civil suit and they want to recruit us to work on their behalf. There are a hundred other reasons. That's something a little bit more concrete. So you want us to do your job and then come to you. Tell you what, why don't we give Washington a call to check on the statutes concerning embryo transfers? That would be great. How long will that take? A couple of days. End of the week, maybe. In the meantime, I'll nose around a bit and find out if anyone else filed a complaint against Norwest Bio. Good. We'll look forward to hearing from you. you have to leave tonight? Yeah, I told Tom I'd get back as soon as I could. I gotta go. They don't care, you know, the FBI. They don't have to care. They just have to do their job. But they won't. Not really. Not unless we can find something that forces them to. Sky, you're not a detective, and neither am I. Let's just let the cops do their job. We'll see what they come up with. We'll take it from there, okay? Have a safe flight.
Yes, Mrs. Weston? Hi, yeah, could you get me a list of all equipment ordered by Dr. Kozak over, say, um, the last 10 years? Yeah, sure, no problem. Dial information, please. City enlisting, please. Uh, yes, in Seattle, Jenna Globe Laboratories, please. Clear up a little mystery for me. A mystery? Yeah, we're doing an inventory of equipment. Um, you have four artificial wombs in here, right? Right. Well, I'm showing an additional four, and I don't know where they are. No kidding. Um, does it say what type they are? No, all it says is modified per WK. Well, that explains it. WK, Wesley Kozak. My guess is he's using them in his research lab. Research lab? It's where he does his personal R&D. It's locked, though. You'll have to get permission to go inside. Well, maybe you could check it out for me, then. Not me. I don't even have access. Where is this research lab, anyway? It's, um, you know, just off the main fertility lab. Right. Where I saw you the other day. Right. Wow. Right. OK. Thanks for your time. Sure. Claire, I really appreciate it. Hey, you seemed pretty upset that day. Everything OK? Yeah. Yeah, it's fine, really. Thanks. Oh. Sorry, Mrs. Weston. Didn't mean to no, sorry. no, that's okay. Actually, you know, you're just the man I need to talk to. I have a whole list of questions here from the fire marshal. Can I buy you a cup of coffee? Sure. Great. So, of course, every time there's a form that no one else can fill out, somehow it ends up on my desk. <laughs> Thank you. Cream? I'm black someone, thanks. So, one came in last week from the Seattle Fire Department. An update of our emergency procedures. I can pull up a copy of her evacuation plan if that'll help you. No, I already got that. Send it in. Then I got a call this morning from the fire marshal. He still has some questions he needs answered. Like what? Like, uh, how are the firefighters supposed to get into the locked labs? Oh, well, simple. The central computer takes over. There's an automatic override on all electronic locks. A fire starts, wham, every lock pops up. Every lock? Every last one. You're right, Frank. That is simple. <laughs> I'm sure it's consent. What's happening? What's that? The screen went off in the restroom. What caused it? Can't tell. No cameras in the ladies' room. I did. I'm not going to Fire department's on the way.
What the hell is going on here? Washroom fire alarm. I'm on it. Probably just a cigarette in the trash. Let's hope that's all it is. I better make sure my lab's secure. Everything seems fine in here. It's probably nothing. I'm sure Rinker took care of it. But Wes, while we're here, I want to see what you got. No, John, I need more time. Wes? No. Look, Wes. I know I'm putting a lot of pressure. But the work we're doing here is going to change the world. Let's go. Our biggest challenge has always been with the growth hormones. Yeah, right. Unless we can grow fully mature organs in less than a year, we don't have a medically viable product. Well, obviously, if you need a transplant, you need it right now. But growing organs more quickly causes them to deteriorate just as fast. I thought we solved that problem. We did. This kidney, for instance. Ten months past maturation with no adverse symptoms. Remarkable. Full growth plus 18 months. No problem. And over here, full growth plus 420 days. No problems. Isn't it astonishing, John? It really is. And it only took you a year to grow this. Oh, that's the good news. It took less. Five months from host embryo extraction to full potential. You're kidding. That's incredible. How long do you expect it to last? No way of knowing. We hope a lifetime. That is remarkable. And you and you grew this from the cells of a single embryo? Yes. <laughs> so what are you worried about? You've done it. This is exactly what we wanted. Now, have you written it up like I told you to? I haven't had a chance to collate the data, John. You gotta put it on paper, Wes. I'll back you up with all the stats from the transplant market. The financial potential is gonna be obvious to the money guy. I don't think that's a good idea. Please, listen to me, John. We're way beyond the boundaries of known science. We're out here on our own. I insist that we make absolutely sure of our documentation. There's no time to wait, Wes. We've invested too much, taken too many chances, cut too many corners. No questions, no doubts. You just tell them it works, they keep us operating, and then we move on. Playing messages? Hi, this is Lori Peterman at Geneglobe Labs. I've got the results of the DNA analysis. Samples from boy number one and boy number two are a perfect match. And the DNA of both children match yours and your husband's. Hard copies are in the mail. You can call me if you have any other questions. Dial Rick. Construction. Hi, this is Sky Weston. Uh, can I speak with Rick, please? Sure, you want to hold, please? Yes, I'll hold. Hello? Honey, hi. You're not gonna believe this. Hey, Wes, have you been cloning humans behind my back? Not that I recall. Now, of course, there's an international ban on the cloning of human beings. We certainly wouldn't want to put ourselves at risk that way. I saw Timothy Colton in the flesh. He is my son's twin. But Mrs. Weston provided us with material from the children involved to run DNA tests. We did. There was no match. I also sent the exact same material to be retested at Genoglobe Laboratories. Their results show that Timothy Colton and my son Chris have identical DNA. Mrs. Weston, 
What assurances do we have that the material you sent to Genoglobe came from Timothy Cole? Alan. No. For all we know, both DNA samples could have come from your own son. Why would I do that? Please. Why this is would a simple shakedown. That? John, as your corporate counsel, it's my job to protect you from these kind of spurious malpractice suits. This is not about money. It's about our son. Well, as you know, the Westons lost their son last year, and Mrs. Weston was under psychiatric care for a number of months. Come on. Maybe you didn't know that. You are so out of line. No, it's completely normal that you would seek help in a situation like that. Then Mrs. Weston came to Dr. Kozak, when was that, so, ten days ago? Yeah, that's right. She was hoping to become pregnant again, but unfortunately, even with Dr. Kozak's help, that's not going to be possible. So, after this recent disappointment, she came to us with this story about her son's twin. Now, Dr. Kozak agreed to DNA testing in order to calm her, but now she's refusing to accept the results. You are twisting everything. No, Mrs. Weston, I'm just reporting the facts. No, you're not. Why don't you tell them about the human heart you have growing in your laboratory, Dr. Kozak? Why don't you tell them about that? Uh, now, Mrs. Uh, Weston, uh, the laboratory growth of human organs is not illegal. In fact, I know six companies doing that research right now. So you admit it? Yes, of course. But what is illegal is breaking into a sealed laboratory, which is the only way you could have found out about those experiments. Is that true, Mrs. Weston? Did you break into a laboratory? No. The door was open. Did you have authorization to be in that particular area? No. Thank you for your time, Mr. Grice. Doctor? That's it? That's all you're gonna do? That's it. Mrs. Weston, by entering that lab, you tainted any evidence that might have been in there. Thank you, gentlemen. You're welcome. This isn't over. Oh, but you're wrong. It is over. Clean out your desk and get out of the building within the hour. This is not over. What were you thinking? I was thinking that if I didn't find out the truth myself, that no one else would. I was thinking that no one else cared. You're saying that I don't care? No, but you were more than happy to pass the buck to the FBI. Right? Scott, you have given them the perfect excuse to wash their hands of this. If I had told you that I was planning to go into that lab, would you have backed me up? Of course not. No, that was insane. You see, this is why I didn't tell you, all right? About the lab, about Deep Cove, about the note. But whether you admit it or not, you think what they think, that I'm just crazy. Sky, I do not think that you're crazy. I, I think that what you did is crazy. Honey, let's just, let's go home. Don't, don't, and, and don't figure... patronize me. Don't. Just leave me alone, please. Where's Kozak? One guest, research lab. I need to talk to you. What are you doing? Uh, I, I need your help. I know that this is gonna sound unbelievable, but Norwest Bio has cloned my son. You're serious? That's impossible. I mean, yes, they know how to do it, but there's a ban against human cloning. There's a law against murder, too, and people do it every day. Why? I mean, why would they want to? I don't know. At first, I thought maybe it was money. Norwest Bio is churning out babies. One embryo alone could have been cloned into hundreds. Except right? we have freezers full of embryos. Stealing them is much easier than cloning. Exactly. Listen, I, I went into Kozak's lab. You what? Did you know that he's been growing organs in there? How did you get in? It doesn't matter how I got in. What matters is the connection. What connection? The connection between that beating heart that I saw and my son. 
I don't understand. In fact, I'm not even sure we should be talking about this. Have you ever heard Dr. Kozak mention my son's name, having anything to do with any kind of experimentation? No, never. Are you sure? Yes. God, this is so important. Claire, look, I could lose my job talking about this. What does CIP say? I for? don't know. You do. I don't. Now, I don't want to call security, but I will. Well, do what you think is right, Claire. Organ growth. More specific data required to access um, files. Baby 2000. More specific data required to access files. CIPA 138. CIPA 138. Mason, did he tell you about the files? I mean, not that it matters, since by the time your husband bails you out, they'll have been destroyed. I know what you've done. I've read the research reports on your computer. I know about CIP. I know that baby 2000 is my son. You don't understand. What don't I understand? What, that you used my son as an experiment like he was a guinea pig? We used his cells. We didn't hurt him. Didn't hurt him. What about me? Hmm? What about Rick? What about all those couples who think that they have a child that is theirs, but it isn't? 
It's my son. Duplicated and reduplicated. They came to me for children. Like you did, Sky. And I gave them babies. You gave them my baby. Yes, that's right. Why? Because you were young. And strong. And you worked for Nora West. You were part of our family, Sky. Part of what we were doing, don't you see? Whether you knew it or not, you were contributing to saving the lives of future generations. If you have heart disease, we'll grow you a new heart. Not a whole body, but a heart. Or a kidney, or a lung. No one will ever lack for a transplant. And no transplant will ever be rejected. The Norwest Bio will make millions and millions of dollars, right? At least not for me. Cloning humans is illegal. Growing organs in a laboratory is not illegal. But it started with cloning my son, And didn't ended it? in a breakthrough that will benefit all of mankind. You should feel proud. Proud? I feel betrayed. I feel cheated. I feel used. Well, then I'm sorry, Skye. But it really doesn't matter. Because CIP is more important than you or Rick. Or even Chris. First, do no harm. Wasn't that part of the oath that you took when you became a doctor? Can you look me in the eye and honestly say that you have done no harm? I don't know how. I'm still shaking. I'm shaking. I can't believe they did this to you. People are killed every day for $10. We're a threat. They obviously know it. How many times did they do it? Clone Chris, I mean. Twelve. That was just the first step. They needed to be sure that they could successfully duplicate a human being before they began cloning individual organs. So the organs you saw, the liver, the heart, they were Chris, too? CIP stands for Cryogenic Insurance Program. They plan to freeze and store genetic material from newborns as a source of spare parts for the rest of the child's life. Kozak is creating people for spare parts? I think they only did it to Chris. So they could learn how to bypass that step and isolate just the cells needed for each organ. You tried to kill her. I tried to scare her. Don't tell me I was there. If I hadn't pushed her aside, you would have run her down. I'm a doctor, John, for God's sakes. I'm trying to bring life into this world. I can't be Eggs part of Eggs and omelets, Wes. Eggs and omelets. If your work can save thousands of lives, wouldn't it be stupid to throw it away for two? Wes. Just hear me out. I can't tell you how it felt to see that heart. Now and then to find out that it was identical to the heart that beat in Chris's chest. They'll destroy it. They'll destroy any evidence of the cloning. Any part of Chris that is still alive. I don't care who they hurt. They're gonna get rich at our expense. There's nothing we can do to stop them. 
Sky? Son of a Rick, bitch! Don't. Rick, don't! I'll kill you for what you did! It. It's not worth it. Stop it, Rick! Stop it! Just stop it. I'm begging you. Please try to see the good in what we're doing. You made a pact with the devil, Kozak. You lied. You manipulated. You stole our blood! Everything I did, I did to save lives. Oh, really? What about Mason? Mason? Rinker knew that he had accessed your research. Did he kill Mason? I don't know anything about that, I swear. But what I do know is that if you expose us, you will destroy years of research and untold potential good. You expect us to keep quiet about this? What if I could give you back what I stole? What? It's all gone. All destroyed. All except one embryo. One more chance, not just to have a child, but to have the son that you lost. Oh, my God. God. God can't help you, Sky. But I can. Listen to me. Walk away from this, and you can watch your son grow into a man. Otherwise, I promise you, I will destroy that embryo. And this time, Chris will be gone forever. Why shouldn't we have Chris back? He's our son. He's us. Oh. I was wondering what it would be like to know to the day, to the minute, when your child was going to grow hair or lose a tooth because you'd seen it all before. What will we call him? Couldn't call him Chris, it wouldn't be Chris. Or if we could ever tell him where he came from, how he was born. I want to do the right thing, Rick. I'm just not sure what that is. Have you decided? Yes. And? We won't do it. Can't. Why? It's what you wanted, isn't it? To have Chris back? Chris is dead. You have no idea what a mistake you've made. Listen to me. What are you gonna do? You actually want me to answer that? No. Coming in? In a minute. Okay.
It's amazing. Yeah, to read the report is one thing, but to actually see it, that's, that's amazing. How soon can we go public with this? Oh, soon, soon. We've got a little housekeeping to do, double check the documentation, you know. We've got to be absolutely meticulous about our scientific protocol. Meticulous, right, Wes? That's right. But we're talking weeks here, Reed. Not months, weeks. That's great. Yeah, so what do you think of our financial projections now? Well, I think we're going to do very well here, gentlemen. Oh, yeah. Very impressive, Doctor. Thank you. Congratulations, Wes. I think we're wanted in the atrium. Shall we? And so I would like to humbly thank the National Society for Genetic Research for this... this wonderful honor. Thank you very much. And thank you for coming. Thank you very much. Congratulations, Wes. John, I can't tell you how pleased I am about everything. Well done. Thank you. Excuse me, Dr. Kosak. I just want to say what a privilege it is to work for you. Oh, thank you, Claire. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. What do you say, Wes? I think we really pulled this off. Yeah, I guess we did. Congratulations, Dr. Kozak. You have such a long list of remarkable achievements. Why don't you tell all of these people the whole story, though? The real story? Mrs. Weston. How you lied 
to my husband and me, and then how you tried to shut us up. Listen, I need to apologize for Mrs. West, and she was recently fired, and apparently this is her way of getting back at all of us. Come Why don't you tell them what you stole from us? Look, we have no idea what you're talking about. How you used my son as an experiment, and then tried to cover it up. Come on, Mrs. West, and let's go. Tell them how you cloned my child. Tell them the truth. Would you please escort her off the premises? Tell them the truth. Dr. Kozak! Why did you do it? Tell us, doctor! Tell us why you did this to us! Yes! Tell us why, Dr. Kuzak. Tell them the truth. Gentlemen, this would be a good time to call your attorney. Take your hands off. I'm going to need a word with you, Mr. Rinker. Let's go. Still pretty skeptical. I mean, it seems so impossible. Well, you came today, and that's all that's important. If you can come by tomorrow for deposition, we'll be there. See ya. They're very lucky, aren't they? Hi, hey. Well, they have beautiful children. papers are in the works. Good. It's gonna take some time. It's all right. So, uh, you sure about this? Yeah, are you? Yeah, I think the treehouse has been empty long enough. Don't you? Yeah, I do. 